flown. I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours. And ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in Audio Drama Networks. This is Mutual. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. Time to warm up those interstellar audio transponders and blast off! Three, two, one... Beyond the farthest star with today's atom-powered episode of... Rip Jarvis of the Space Today. The further continuing exploits of Ace Space Today, Rip Jarvis and his robot buddy, in the 94th century! Brought to you by Yugo, the only car in the world where uphill is an option. Today's episode, chapter 22, The River of Electricity. As you recall, Rip Jarvis and his pal Duda were on the planet Mango. That's where Rip slipped and fell. He and Duda were attempting to sabotage the bridge that crossed the River of Electricity before the dreaded many-headed cry could get across. As Rip placed the last stick of space dynamite under the bridge, he lost his footing and began to plummet into the deadly electrical current below. Let's listen as Rip says, We're really in it this time, Duda. Duda grapples in vain when, at the last possible second, a sudden and unexpected freak gust of wind blows from the east and push Rip into Duda's grasp and back onto good old solid mango firma. Quick, Duda, behind this rock. The dreaded many-headed cry, oblivious to the trap, march across the bridge. The space dynamite explodes and the mutants tumble into the river below where they die, writhing in unfathomable agony. Come, Duda, off to Wicked City. We must rescue the princess. And her handmaiden, Esther. In Castle Wicked, the insidious and diabolical Dr. Morpheus G. Blaggard continues to torture Princess Cumley. While her handmaiden looks on, suddenly Esther has a plan. Look, over there! Her captor's attention diverted, Esther escapes. She runs randomly through the streets of Wicked City. She opens a door and runs inside. Her momentary illusion of safety is splintered to ribbons when she discovers that she is actually inside a huge hot chocolate factory. And walking towards her is the protector of that factory, the Marshmallow Guardian. Ah, what a hideous beast. A hundred foot tall monster made of marshmallow. The sailor's hat on his head doesn't belie the terror that Esther faces. Is this the end? We'll be back after this. What happens when an orphaned boy finds himself alone without a friend or even a dream on the city streets of New York? Well, little Billy found a friend and a whole bunch of crazy dreams to boot when he met... Mimey, a happy, whimsical street mime, with a smile for everyone and more than a little inkling about mischief and adventure. Join us tonight for another heartwarming, smile-producing tale of me and Mimey. What sort of cuteness will Mimey get into this time, and how will little Billy get him out? And what important lesson about life will we learn? It's all in the fun, the laughter, the tears, and the hugs of me and Mimey. Tonight's episode, Mimey's throat ripped out by a rabid pit bull. Join us. It's a good one. And now back to our story. Rip and Duda arrive outside the gates of Wicked City. Rip, the entrance to the city is crawling with guards. Is that what they are? I thought... Never mind that. Do you see that guard standing over by that big rock just out of sight of the others? Out of sight of the other rocks? By the Mango Army Skyslet? Yes. Do you still have your special long-range anti-neutral electrode ray rifle? Yes, Rip. Right here. I want you to creep up behind that guard and hit him over the head with it. Now, go! It's an effective piece of equipment. Good work. Now let's take his sky sled. He won't be needing it any longer. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 we'll uh, fly into the city. And off they go, soaring high into the air. What's this? The sky sled malfunctions. 
directly over the deepest part of the city. Oh no, Duda, we're going to crash! What do we do now, Rip? This is a fix. Rip and Duda ready to crash and burn, Esther being threatened by a hundred foot tall marshmallow guardian, and the princess is still a captive in Castle Wicked. What will they all do? We'll find out on our next exciting episode, Chapter 44, It's Not Duda's Day, on Rip Jarvis of the Space Cadet! Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. It's a comedy podcast. Fridays and every other Sunday. Well, anyway, back in episode five of Bells in the Bat Free, we introduced the cowlets, tiny little cows. Where did all these cats come from? They're not cats, they're cows, and they're heading toward the water cooler. Stop it before... Now you can display your love of these tiny cows with genuine cowlet t-shirts. You know what's really fun to do with these shirts? Get a whole bunch of people to buy them. Then you all gather together and run down the street. People will see these cowlets coming toward them and think it's a stampede. You think that would really work, Brad? Shh, I'm pushing for bulk sales here. You can also get cowlet mugs, clocks, and other items. Just go to thebatfree.com and click on shop. This is a limited time offer. No, it's not. You just do not not understand advertising, do you? Get your merchandise today with the official Cowlet design created by Jeff Music. Buying lots of them would bring music to my ears. Oh, stop.